Gateway to America. Ellis Island is located in New York Harbor, just off the New Jersey coast and north of Liberty Island. It used to be a place where the government decided if immigrants would be allowed into the country. Between 1892 and 1954, over 12 million immigrants entered the United States through here. Immigrants from foreign countries arriving in New York Harbor would stop at Ellis Island to pass through immigration before entering the U.S. The government let wealthy first and second class passengers into the country after only a brief check on board the ship they originally arrived in. The poor third class passengers though were moved from the pier by ferry to Ellis Island where doctors and government officials gave them a thorough medical and legal check. The anxious newcomers entered the main building through the baggage room, left their luggage there and went into the crowded Great Hall. Doctors looked at the immigrants for obvious medical problems and disabilities. They put chalk marks on the clothes of the people they thought had something wrong with them and sent them for a full medical check. If someone had a problem that doctors could heal, they were sent to the island's hospital, otherwise they were sent back home. The next step was an interview with a legal officer. Immigrants needed proof of where they came from and where they expected to live and work. After 1921, people had to pass a reading and writing test and show a passport and visa. The next step was going to the money exchange area, where people could exchange their money for US dollars and buy train tickets. After that, the new Americans were free to start their exciting new lives.